Hello, hello, and welcome back to some more Wild Frost. To uh, Today is the 3rd of January. It is a whole new year, as it turns out. It's also very late at night, so I hope my brain is fully functional. It might not be. It never really is, but uh, either way, we'll, we will play Wild Frost regardless. We are moving on to the Snow Clan, and we have Kruro, Das, or Cock, of course. Um... I'm a little tempted to go with Smackback Leader. 14-7 is pretty powerful, I would say, for the Smackback Leader. I also need to keep in mind we're on Overcrank, so the Blood Bell is going to reduce this to 7 HP. Which is definitely scary, but uh, I think this makes the most sense out of these. Um, and as is tradition, I'll be rolling a D6 to determine my companion. And we got a 2, which of course is Bushu. Alright, let's get it. We've had some struggles lately, for sure. <laughs> There's no doubt about that, but I I'm not too worried. I haven't been taking this game that seriously um, lately, and uh, that just sounds like an excuse to be bad at the game. <laughs> I've just been struggling on Overcranked, and I haven't been playing as much, so uh, well, hopefully we can turn the ship around today. Let's start with something like... I don't know. I kind of want to kill this guy when this guy attacks, so we get a two combo here. So I'll do Scrappy Sword, um, and then Scrappy Sword again, like so. It is unfortunate that this is a snowball fight, because I would have been able to get a lot more money off of a Penguin fight. And also, Winter Worm is pretty awkward with the smack back hero right away. I could use the Snow Stick. Mm, I probably should. The other thought is to get Bushu out. I think I'll go ahead and start farming cash off of Goblin, though. And then we'll get our friendly Bushu out. So yeah, we do definitely need to be cautious about this Winter Worm. What I think I want to happen is um, for Winter Worm to attack with much less attack when these newcomers attack as well. That would be ideal. So one thought, interestingly, would be to Sunrod this guy. Let me just make sure I wouldn't die, though. So 6-3... Be 10. 10 damage next turn. The only issue with that is I'm not killing. I'm only killing two guys in that scenario. And then the goblin runs away. Which I don't love. I don't think that makes much sense to me. I think I'm gonna scrap your sword and then move on and try to snow this thing. The downside, of course, to that being this guy gets increased attack. Um, but we could send. Mm, I don't think we should send 3 damage into Winter Worm, actually. I think we should send it into the Goblin here. Because the Winter Worm will, is already at a uh, kill range here. So maybe we'll be able to combo when these guys attack again. Winter Worm and Snow Knight. That would be ideal. Looks like this Goblin wants to die. So this is currently 9 damage. We can reduce it a little bit more. I think I'll just let these two attack me, and uh, we'll Scrappy Sword the Goblin, we'll get a three combo, and then we'll move forward with our lives. Our first kill of the Snow Knight in 2024, okay, or that won't happen, that guy will run away. That's interesting. I guess the Smackback ends the fight there. What? Uh, that is. That seems strange to me, truth be told, but it's okay. Uh, we're at 61 gold, which is about where we want to be with Snowbow Fight at the minimum. Um, at least we got to that point. Not not the best of starts, but it's okay. Everything can change with these new new nodes. Treasure, Traveler, Traveler. I think I want that a little bit more than the Blink Snow Cave. See what uh, kind of guys we have going on early. We have Berry Blade, Bling Bank, or Blaze T with Aimless on it. I think it's a Berry Blade angle. Um, the healing is going to be really good with Kruro, I would say, as my primary source of damage. Well, we'll see, you know. Things can change, of course, with each subsequent box. Okay, Chompom is here. So Chompom's like a carry. Um, he does have sort of awkward synergies with healing, in that shell and healing don't really get along super well. Um, because you can be at full HP despite losing a bunch of shell. Um, and the healing doesn't really have as much effect. Maybe we could play Demona here. Uh, we play Demona at less, I would say, than Chompom in general. Let's give Demona a big shot here. I think it makes sense as well. 
We already sort of have a, a high damage threat um, via crew rows, so it makes sense to just amplify crew row rather than to uh, to compete with crew row for resources. So Foxy here has a, is a very scary sad charm, the Frost Wolf charm. Off or uh... <laughs> yeah, speaking is gonna be hard. Very apt for this character to have a Frost Wolf charm, but very sad for me as well. Mm, I I don't know. I could just like wall up here as like a solid damage dealing slash tanky character. Pyro doesn't interest me that much. Pyro would interest me with Foxy, but that's not what we're doing here. Yeah, let's just go with Wallop. Wallop is going to do great work for us early in the game. And now we have a pretty full squad already. Okay, we face the... I don't know what this fight's even called. The Frost Men. It's probably like half the fights in this game are the Frost Men. Hope everyone is having an awesome day today, by the way. Today has been interesting. I recently got a, uh, a, a interesting in a good way as well. Recently got a, a kitty, uh, and it's been really fun getting to kind of learn the personality of my my new kitten. Very shy, uh, very very shy kitty, but uh, he's been coming out of his shell the last couple of days, which has been really fun to see. So we could get hit here. I have a couple of thoughts. One is to get hit here and do seven back, and then on Porcupine attacks and Mimic attack next turn, we smack them back. The issue with that, of course, is that we're taking a lot of damage, especially since this thing has a Tooth Charm. Um, but I think it's okay. I actually might move on here and go look for Bushu and Demona. Yeah, I think we're going to be fine because we have lots of healing. Another thought is that I don't have to Scrappy Sword because Wallop is attacking here. Uh, we could probably just get Bushu down then. Another thought, of course, is to get a whole another... No, I can't get this guys out. Yeah, th that solves solves the dilemma. Taking damage here, though. Just need to be cautious. Let's see. Ice Lantern... Should I just get rid of the Ice Lantern now? Yeah, let's do that. Let's just do that and not think about it anymore. I could have been patient. I should have played Demona first, probably. But now Demona's nice and aligned with uh, Wallop and Bushu here. If I want to get a kill, oh, I can't do anything actually. We're not killing either of these here, which is actually fine, I think. Because now we can kill them. Do something like this. I think I'll move on here. Ah, uh, is there actually a way? could do... I, I really don't see a way. I could increase his power. Oh no, this is snowed. So we can kill this thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This works out. The only weird thing is Demona wants to attack nothing. Here, that's this is the solution. Demona attacks the goblin. We get some extra gold. Wallop kills the goblin. I berry blade the Frostinger. Um, and then Bushu kills the Mimic. We get a three combo. We get some heals. We get some gold. Yeah, all is well. Seems good. Okay. Now we must face the Ringer with a Moose Charm. A little scarier than usual. Uh, and I, it's kind of annoyed that he's taking so long to attack. Not a huge deal, though, of course. Maybe, I don't know. I don't know if any of this matters. Maybe I'll do this and then snow this guy. Get him chunked nice and early. Yeah, Bushu getting hit. It's not the end of the world there. Um, Frostinger can get this can get to one HP again as is tradition. I could also let it die now, but I, I think I'll try to com combo uh, next turn if possible. I don't know what I'm doing here. I should have Scrappy Sorted maybe actually on Porcupine. So here we can do. A two combo, whatever. Let's just get a two combo and get out of here. And then we'll just hit this thing with a scrappy sword, no problems. Yeah, some, some slight optimizations could have been made in these last couple combats, but we are at 153 after two, which is fine. I think now we should go down, because we already have a 
bit too many travelers to be taking two here. Nothing that really sticks out to me as something that I, I, I want traveler-wise as well. I guess Snuffle would probably be fine, but Snuffle is a bit counter to what uh, Kruger wants to do anyway. Yeah. Well, here's Kablonker and Mimic. Maybe Mimic is worth uh, choosing here. It's extra damage on my smackback guy, or just in general. Pairs pretty well with Demona, because Demona's attacking frequently as well. Kabonker is kind of a thought, but not much. If I had Snuffle, then Kabonker would definitely be a thought here, but I think I'm going to go with Mimic. Let's go see what else the game has in store for me. Ah, yes. Mobile Campfire, Stormbear, Spirit, or Frostbloom. So Frostbloom has pretty nice synergy, I'd say, with Smackback, because the idea is it's it's a form of control that does not prevent the enemy from hitting. Like, Snow is a form of control that obviously uh, slows enemies from hitting you, but, of course, if they're not hitting you, you're not smacking back. Frostbloom allows the enemy to hit, allowing you to smack back, but still preventing some of the bulky, uh, the bulk of the damage. So it's a thought. It's not that intriguing, I do have uh, backline access with Kuro, so I'm not, like, fixing for Stormbear Spirit. I don't think Mobile Campfire is, like, insane here. Mobile Campfire just gets a little awkward uh, positioning-wise, especially since I already have this clunker. Um, despite them seeming to go pretty well together, the Mobile Campfire and Mimic, I, I, don't, I don't know if I want to deal with that uh, extra stress of... of dealing with uh, positioning that thing. Especially on the hard fight, I think it gets pretty tricky. Okay. This is really good. I don't really know what I'm putting it on yet, though. We, we don't have to make that decision quite yet, though. We can go visit a shop first. And here's a crown. There's also Molten Dip and Pink Berry Juice, both of which seem pretty intriguing to me. This is interesting, because I already have Smackback. Wallop wouldn't mind Smackback either, though. I could maybe get weird and have Bushu Smackback as well. And be healing for a ton. I don't know if that makes a ton of sense, though. Yeah, maybe it's Wallop. I wonder if I should be doing Molten Dip here. Molten Dip is quite good with Mimic as well. Yeah, it's gotta be one of these. I don't know. Part part of me thinks we just need to be safe, and uh, we'll do enough damage with Kruro. Let's crown and smack back Wallop. Yeah, it's been decided. We have now two smackbacks. I think another thought would have been maybe to wait. I don't know what's going to be better than Wallop though with the smackback this game. Like, he's healthy enough to be smack is the most important thing there. So here we have a decision to make. Do we want to kill this mini Moko right now? So we could do this attack, slide down. The issue is always this porcupine, but I could freeze the porcupine. Let's do that. Kill the mini Moko. It only is getting this guy two attack, which is some amount, but not the end of the world. Maybe I could uh, demonize the Infernoko over the porcupine, because we're going to have enough damage on Kuro anyway from the porcupine attack. Okay, so we could do something like this. And then what, Kuro just transitions in Fernoka right away? I wonder if that's the right way of approaching things. It's a pretty fast transition. We also do a lot of damage though to the, the new Infernoko. To the transitioned Infernoko, I guess I should say. I could kill this Minimoko now. Also, like after Infernoko attacks. Yeah, I don't know, maybe that's fine. Getting this guy with the Lumen Ring uh, out of commission early seems pretty good to me, though. Okay, so now we have several guys attacking next turn, but I think we're okay with that. I know this barrage is happening, but I think it's fine. 
I'm trying to think who we want to heal off of. Uh, one thing to note is that this guy wants to be mean and prevent me from doing some damage. But the Gobbler goes before, Porcupine goes before, Infernoco go before, so we're going to have max damage before that point. So I think, well, let's do this so we make sure we kill the Frostinger as well. Uh, and I should just calculate here. Three, two... Um, this guy's going to have five damage. Because Porcupine's dying. So three... Five... 10, 11? Technically that's okay. I could Frost Bloom this guy, or this guy. Actually, we should Frost Bloom Porcupine for sure. Oh, and also Wallop wants to attack back at Porcupine. Although that doesn't matter so much. Let's just do this. And also when this thing dies, it no longer gives the damage to Gobbler. So we actually just saved a tremendous amount of damage and get a three combo. That worked out kind of perfectly. Yeah, I don't even know if I want to play this Mimic, because I kind of want this Rota to be solid as it is. Mm, yeah, we could, we could move on. Just play Pink Berry Juice and be fine with what's going on. One thought is also to speed this guy up. Mm, let's just not. Let's just play this normally and do something like this. So now we can... Hmm. I don't know. I'll just play Bushu. And then unplay Bushu. <laughs> yeah, let's just unplay Bushu because otherwise I wouldn't be able to get that two combo. Or, or Bushu would die, which we don't want. No reason for that. Okay, that seems like a pretty good fight though. It seems like we have a good setup. Okay, we have Sunbill of Health. Sunbill of Health intrigued me a lot more before um, the Blood Bell change. At least on this first uh, first Sunbox. Because now this is effectively going to be 3 HP after the Blood Bell triggers, which is really sad. Uh, we could probably just grab Cursed Crown and uh, Sunbell of the Bell. Chuckle Charm is always always intriguing but I don't know that it's really the way here I think this is more solid the other way would have been I could have gone spice charm as well I think that would have been solid didn't really stop to give it a thought though Bushu or Demona yeah I don't know we don't need to make a decision quite yet mm, we need to go down for the lumen vase it's actually kind of nice to see this blink snow cave uh, right before the woolly snail. I'm trying to think what I would take here. Hmm. Maybe Shelly. Hmm, I don't know. Shelly doesn't really do that much here either. Shelly does trigger Mimic a lot and gives Crew Row um, some space, I suppose. But like I said earlier, her combination with healing is not that great, or Shell in general. And we do have a lot of healing. Well, I did say we have a lot of healing. And this guy likes being healed. Probably more than Demona does. I think I like this more with how much healing is going on. Maybe Bushu. I don't know. Little Berry doesn't mind the one attack reduced either that much, though. Maybe it's good to have him scaling right away. Even though Bushu does help him scale right away. It's no big deal. I think this is fine. I, I didn't need to put it on right away either. I could have waited. Okay, here's our goop crown. Fairy basket. Interesting. Um, I don't know. I don't think we need berry basket. It's cleanse all allies though, right? It, you no longer have the annoying positional problems with berry basket where it was only barrage. Maybe berry basket's just really good now. The cleanse could definitely be useful as well. And it's healing. Let's, let's give it a try. 
It's a shame this thing has uh, Amos on it, otherwise I'd definitely be considering it. I should have maybe considered a crown there as well. I think this is okay though. It's possible putting Demona in is good for this fight as well. I think I think we're gonna be okay though. Blueberry should be pumping out lots of damage. King Moko is an especially scary tar or, um, fight for smackback leaders, I will say. Uh, but we do have some supplemental damage, I would say, and supplemental attacks, more importantly. So, we can do this. I don't really mind Makoko attacking too much here. It's just fine. Let's just drop Woodhead down, so I don't have to draw him anymore. Main reason for that. And then, Kuro Wallop. So, either of these guys getting hit is not a big deal. And she's attacking twice, so uh, presumably she will die. And we can snow this guy, and then Wallop will finish Grumps off with, with only uh, marginal problems here with Grumps being mean, as always. Okay, Little Berry is not going to be hitting for the most here. I think I'd rather heal. Wallop? I don't know if that's true. Maybe we should be getting this guy scaling. Maybe bring these guys out. Um, yeah, this is probably all okay. I don't really want to hit this guy with Fairy Blade. And this doesn't quite kill the Pepper Witch. Whatever. This is. It's all good. I guess we could kill this Pepper Witch now. And then I'll just use this to get it out of my deck. I think we're kind of just chilling right now. And then Flame Water makes sense on Pepper Witch, so we kill it in one shot. And then I would like to go get Snow to get some more gold off this Goblin if possible. Two snow would be ideal, so Wallop can kill Grumps in one hit again. I can't cleanse off uh, reduced attack, I don't think. Yeah, maybe I can't actually snow this guy, because I want to hit this guy. It's fine, we can let Little Berry and Wallop both hit that, that guy, I think it'll be okay. Very basket and cleanse. Could also do. I don't know. We also don't have to hit Grumps here, I guess, yet. That's the other option. I guess we'll just get a two combo. And then Pepper Witch can attack you. I think we should probably get Mimic out. Bushu goes here. I guess it doesn't matter. Bushu's hitting Grumps, which I don't love, actually. Maybe I can get a... Yeah, a little parry to go first. Yeah, that doesn't exactly help. The situation. Uh, we can do 3, 2, 7. Or, 9. we do that? Nah, that doesn't make any sense, because this guy needs to go. I guess there's no rush on him going, either. I don't really know. I don't really know what I'm doing. None of this... Everything's fine. Let's just do this. This guy will attack me. It's fine. Woodhead will... I was going to say block that guy, but it's not necessary. Let's do something like this. Snow this guy. Get these guys going. Yeah, we should be all good. Get Bushi going before King Moko. Very good. And then we're attacking for 20. Plus, this will be what, 4. And we can do something like this. Get a little bit more damage out there. Okay, perfect. That is one obstacle that has been defeated. 
That is definitely one of the scarier ones for that particular leader, or this particular leader. Traveler Charm or Shade Sculptor? Shade Sculptor... Well, uh, there's no, like, charmed items right now. But maybe another pink berry juice isn't bad. I don't know. Maybe we can make a decision after this box. Trash one. Don't love that. I don't think the dragon pepper is that crazy here either. The thing is, everything changes if I get a heart forge. Pepper flag immediately becomes insane if I get a heart forge. But I don't have a heart forge. Yeah, that spice charm would have been pretty good. Um, excuse me. Um, I don't know. Normally you just default Newman Biscuit here, but it does have trash on it. It seems like it'd be weird to skip this, right? Like, these are all cards that are potentially strong. I just don't know if they're strong here. I don't know. How good is Dragon Pepper? Here. It's okay. I mean, add seven damage to one attack. That's something, right? I just don't have any like frenzy or like barrage to make it really pop. I'm I'm really not sure. I don't think this trash is worth worth the trouble. I don't know. Let's just grab it and go down this way and add a bunch of garbage to my deck. What if we have a Heartmist Station again? I guess we have space. And it's still pretty good with, with my setup, I would think. Like, not as insane as some of the runs I've had, but it still seems pretty good. Double Heartmist Station doesn't really seem like the move here. I just don't have space for it is the main reason. I think Berry Blade or Pink Berry Juice are both pretty appealing. Let's just do another Pink Berry Juice. And move on. We are definitely bloating our deck a bit, but I think the cards we've added are pretty strong. I, I don't know if I would... I don't know if I should have taken that Dragon Pepper, truth be told. Seemed like one of those things where I just took it because it felt like I should take a card there, and I don't know if that I actually should have. But it's in the past now. We should snow this guy. But we should probably snow him after... Uh, after one more turn, so Wallop will hit when the time is right. Something like this makes sense to me. Kill, that kills. Do we could, Let's just move on, actually. There's better healing options right now. Yeah, such as Berry Blade. And I think I'll heal Crew Row over Little Berry here, to be honest. Something like this is fine with me. Just because Crew Row is going to be taking lots of damage, I think, this, uh, this way. Okay, this is a little scary. We could do something like this. We don't really want this guy to be eaten. Okay, well, we need to kill that thing then. So this, I guess, is something that's happening. The smack back is happening. I don't really know what I'm doing here. I could just gunk fruit or snow. I don't know if we're fast enough for this fully direct. Maybe that was unwise to, to snow the scobbling. Maybe a little greedy. I think we're fine though. If I had to guess. So I think we should go here, 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 here. And then maybe heal this guy or pink berry this guy. Or scrappy sword this guy to kill. This also needs to happen. Let's see this. 
Get a little two combo. Start whittling down the Wooly Drek. Something to note is this Wooly Drek intends to do tremendous amounts of harm to my family. Ah, this next turn. Which seems pretty bad. I have a couple of options. One is to double... To heal this and then frost bloom this next turn. I kind of like that best. And then let Mimic die, I guess. And let uh, Goblin run away. Grobble hits Wallop, Wallop smacks back. This should be okay. I'm not like in love with it, but it's not the end of the world. And then here, Kuro smacking back on Papa. I think it's fine. I think I'll do this as well so I don't have to deal with teeth at all. Okay, looks like Big Lou also wants to attack for a million trillion damage. Hmm. Yeah. So there is an issue. Do this. Yeah, this is pretty annoying, I won't lie. But I think it's fine. Littleberry does go before Wooly Drek. And Wallop also goes before Wooly Drek here. So we could do, I don't know, I'm just gonna do this and then move on and I think I'll try to snow this Wooly Drek so Wallop actually kills. Wallop plus Littleberry rather kills. Let's see, this gets it to 13 plus four is 17, not quite enough. So yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Need to be a little cautious of Big Lou attacking again here shortly. But I think we're gonna be a-okay. I will heal up Skruro here, and Bushu will do something similar. So we could do this, this, this. And then maybe, I don't know, I guess I'll just shoot this thing. I could have shot it with your gun crew, that would have been way better. But it's not the end of the world. Do something like that. And then maybe just heal. Heal up little berry if possible, like this. And let's get out of here. Perfect. Yeah, we love to see it. Let's see, Gnome Traveler or tr Frozen Traveler. Gnome Traveler plus Charm. Or Traveler and Treasure. Hmm, I don't know that I need any Travelers. I don't know, I could be wrong. I think I'd like to go get a charm. And maybe there's something useful here. There's probably not. There's not. But, you know, Gnome Traveler can be cool sometimes. It wasn't cool that time. Pinch Charm doesn't interest me that much either. Uh, but it, uh, it's pretty good on my leader, to be honest. Uh, I, I think I should maybe get a Snow Cake here over a uh, Curse Crown. Truth be told. It saves me money as well. It's something. I can grab a, cra or a charm now instead. Like a heart charm for post blood though would be pretty sick. Pengu charm. I have cleanse now. Things have changed a bit. Uh, with Pengu charm. Pengu charm used to be Pretty bad with some niche cool situations, I would say. Now it has berry baskets and bonnies and stuff running around. It's probably quite a bit better. It would have been nice on that Bushu fight, I guess. Or Big Lou, rather. Let's do that and... I don't know. Maybe it's fitting if Wallop has this. The other option is to snow cake mimic and then cleanse my mimic. It's weird because berry basket doesn't hit mimic normally. Does it hit it when does this still work? 
I don't think it does. I would be kind of sad if it didn't, right? And if this doesn't work, it's I don't think it's the end of the world. Crunker. Well, this way we're going to snow cake Crunker, most likely. So I probably won't even find out. Uh, this buncher is terrifying. Who allowed this? Yeah, what? Uh, I guess I'll do this and then snow this thing and then maybe move on. I don't know. Yeah, this hurts quite a lot. I guess I have a free turn here. Get flame water so it dies next turn, and then we can go find our snow cake. Ah, this gobbler is gonna get huge off of this though. Maybe if I find, uh, oh, I didn't find snow cake. Uh, do I need to move on now then? Yeah. Yeah, I think I need to move on now. This gobbler is going to be a problem. Yeah, I'm not like super intrigued with the current state of things. I think we're going to find a way though. Gobbler is definitely a problem. But we're healing some up this turn with Bushu. I think Wallop should probably take this hit though. Ah, uh, no, no, no. We need to kill that gobbler. Kuro needs to hit this, or attack this, I think. We can just support our, our friend and heal. I just let Bushu die. Ah, that's pretty bad, I think. Uh, but it is in the past now. Maybe... Mm, I don't know. Maybe we'll just keep healing our guy. And then berry baskets? Mm, maybe this makes more sense actually. Wallop pit and then little berry still doing just one damage to Ice Forge, but that's plenty. I think, yeah, I think this makes more sense. Smackback's kind of rough, but it's what it is. Just because it's been reduced quite a bit, but not a big deal. I think I'll do this. Uh, Kuro block again. I'm not going to put Mimic down here because he'll just hit into the spike wall and kill himself. This will reduce some of the, the damage here as well. Yeah, this is solid. I, I think we're pretty stable, truth be told. Maybe something like this. I would... I, I would like to attack this spike wall at some point in my life, but... Maybe that's not destined to be. We can do it now. That works. Yeah, we can do this. This one kind of has two instances of damage, I don't believe. No, it does not. Which makes sense. Just wasn't sure. Haven't seen that interaction in a little bit. Um, let's see. We could just berry blade. We also have to be cautious that Krunker is coming back to life soon. Definitely something to be concerned about. I just want to heal Kruro, I think, for now, though. And then we have a free turn. I guess Scrappy Sword, just so we kill this thing now. Krunker does want to be mean. Let's see, are we guaranteed to buy, get snow? No. No, but we are likely to get snow here. With six cards. We did get snow. Let's go Kuro. Mimic doesn't need a hit because he'll hit Spike Wall. We don't want that. Let's just do this. We're kind of just delaying the inevitable here, huh? How close are we to actually transitioning this guy? Uh, one, two, three, four, five. Something like this to heal. Alright, healed them both, too. That's perfect. Cool. Good timing on that. And then this guy attacking in his reduced damage state is not the end of the world. Mimic 
And our, well, he's being rude. <laughs> he's definitely being rude. But it's okay. It's not a big deal. I think I might just take these guys out. Barry getting hit isn't the end of the world at all. Just do, I don't know, Barry Basket gives this guy damage and heals this guy at the same time. It seems okay, I don't know. Not crazy. Okay, don't be mean to me this time. Okay, or, you know, hit all six of my squares again. It's also an option. It's really not a big deal with this comp, though. And we can do Frost Bloom to make it even less of a big deal. What? What are the chances of this, by the way? Three, six rolls on my side in a row? That's insane. Yeah, I, I'm pretty lucky that my comp is so stable against this fight in particular, because wow, that was pretty unlucky rolls, I would say. Okay, well, we have survived, Krunker. And the storm has taken its toll on Kruro. It's really sad. It's really sad, but we move forward. Okay, we have a Lumen Ring. A shell. Oh, Acorn Charm should automatically go on Kruro here, right? No questions asked. I know all the things I've said about healing, but, uh,. 8 health on uh, Kuro's 8 health, right? And we can just focus the healing uh, buttons on Little Berry, who likes them more anyway. Maybe card draw. Uh, Lumen Ring Harpness Station's nice as well. The only issue, of course, I have with that is um, positioning on the heart fight. It's always a bit awkward with Harpness Station. It seems to struggle a bit. If it had two scrap, it would be this. It would be a defensive machine. Yeah, maybe card draw is just more stable. I think I like it a bit more. So let's do it. Sorry, Bushu, you did not need to get injured there. That was my fault. We have an injured companion, Namen Stompy. I don't think I need Diamond Stompy in this game, but it's good to have you aboard, buddy. Let's do treasure. I could still gain benefit from like the Storm Globe. I don't want those. I don't think. I'm gonna do this now before I forget. Yeah, let's get it. We have. Hmm, we don't have, have anyone that really likes getting hit by these Bursters. It's pretty scary. Bursters are kind of scary for my team, actually. I do have Berry Basket to cleanse, though. The problem is I can't cleanse in the middle of, like, a turn. So if this attacks and I smack back, I, I can't cleanse it off, obviously. Which is a bit of a shame. Yeah. I'm not super confident on what I want to do. I have an idea. Let's do this. And kill one burster now. I think that makes sense to me. And then this crab is kind of annoying, isn't it? Just quite rude, I would say, for a crab. I don't really know what to do about this burster attack. We needed to hit Bushu, and then we need to cleanse it. I can't do it next turn because the Burster is attacking the same time as Little Berry. But this works. This Mimic hasn't done that much for me. This game has has it. And we need to stay on this turn. Or on this hand, rather. I guess I'll just do this. And then I think I'm going to let my Mimic die here. Or... Or I don't. 
Mm, let's just let Mimic die. I think it's safer. And then I need to cleanse my Bushu. Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's do it. I'll say the only problem with letting Mimic die there is Mimic could block a Burster, and that may be better than uh, it blocking a Crab Attack. Yeah. Yeah, it might be better, but it's fine. We'll find a way. I don't know, maybe something like this. And then, uh... Maybe a little something like this. Okay, the crab attacking is quite scary. So what we could do is Woodhead and then Burster on Bushu and then maybe take these guys out. Or take Bushu out. This is an issue though too. We could also do this and then let Littleberry kill this Burster before it attacks. I actually think that maybe is a better choice. Another thought here is that I can move on and look for Berry Bell. Oh, I can't take this guy out. Hmm. There is no Berry Bell to be found. Actually, I draw seven cards. So, or Berry Basket, rather, not Berry Bell. The other option is to Snowcake Bushu. I don't like that the burster is behind this crab either. Yeah, the, the biggest issue I have is that Bushu, like, it'll, it's only doing two damage, right? But it could hit Kuro and die, and we don't really want that. I don't really know. I don't think this crawler attacking is a big deal. I can let that, that go through. And then maybe I would like to add normal snow so we kill this crawler in one hit, but. It wasn't super likely, it didn't happen. We still have a woodhead to block one of these hits. Yeah, I don't know. Something like this is fine, something like that would be would have been fine. We do have lots of bursters coming up soon. I don't really know what to do about all this. Yeah, I'm starting to get a little worried here. Bushu needs to block another burster attack, is what I've decided. I guess this is fine. Okay, so how does this work though? Yeah, how does this work? How do I survive? <clears throat> we could let Wallop die. I'm not in love with that idea. And then Burster hit Bushu. And then Burster hit Woodhead. Yeah, uh, it doesn't inspire that much confidence in me. This is a really hard fight for me for this particular composition. Very difficult. Wow. I didn't expect to be in this position on this fight. I usually don't die to this fight. I don't know, this seems right. I mean, it feels really bad. Okay, I don't know how I win. I think I lose, to be honest. Uh, but let's we keep fighting. Yeah, what? How do I survive? The next three rounds of Burster? What? 
Especially since Little Bear is attacking at the same time as them. That's really bad. If we need... Hmm. Maybe we just lose. That would be crazy, right? Oh, we have we have cleanse. We have cleanse, right? Let's not get too crazy then. We have a way. Yeah, this is strange though. I won't deny that. Be this. Like, I almost think I need a snow little berry. Probably do. Almost certainly do, actually. So three bursts will attack and then it will cleanse all of this nonsense. Yeah. I think this is the way. Maybe something like this, even. Yeah, I might do this. Wow. Yeah, imagine not having this cleanse, that'd be crazy. Let's do this. Little Berry's feeling nice and comfy again. I'm still not out of the woods by any means. This crab is being annoying. Yeah, the problem is these guys all have block on them too. Eight damage is a lot. We're healing quite a bit back, though, this turn. Another issue we have is this guy is attacking alongside all these guys. So, one, two, three. This is at ten. One, two, three. And then we need to look for Berry Bell again. This turn's free, so... We should use it. Let's just heal up our boy. We need to cleanse this guy though. No other option here. That means we need to move on right away, I think. Yeah, we need to hit this berry basket or it's, it's over. I think we're okay. I think we're fine for the record. Kuro can block this now, and we're slowly getting through these bursters, so this is good. One burster down. Numbskull is attacking. Can block that, like so. Okay, solid. And then we could double burst or boost you here now. That seems fine with me. And then we once again want to go look for Berry Bell. Or Berry uh, Basket, rather. Wow. Berry Basket is saving my life here. We need to move on again. Mm, is there a rush actually for this one? There's less of a rush. Because this is on a four turn timer. I'm gonna do this. And then maybe. Yeah, I think we're okay. I'm gonna do this now. And then this. So. Maybe I kind of goofed, because now these guys are all aligned. Oh no. Wait. Wait, this is bad. Because we can't have the burster go off. On little berry, for sure. I could maybe freeze this guy and delay him one turn. Bushu could easily hit Kuro though, and I would die. Or uh, Bushu would die. I guess Bushu dying is not the end of the world, though, if it happens. And if it hits Little Berry, then we're actually pretty fine. We just can't let the Burster hit Little Berry. I'm gonna do this. Okay. 
That's about how that should be expected to go. And then we need to, we can do something like this and then cleanse off this uh, mean juju here. Yeah, this is fine. We are okay, technically. This is the hardest this fight's ever been. Uh, but that's fine with me. Let's do this. Cool. All right, bursters are down. We should be good then. Yeah, wow, that was, that was stressful. We also are injured. We need to keep that in mind. That's not good, some would say. Yeah, not great. And I want this guy to attack me so we can get through this faster. It's like my least favorite fight, just for this part. Let's do this. And get out of here. What are we, like three days into this recording? Yeah, roughly. Oh boy. It's like every run I do takes like six days now. All right, now I'm gonna he's back in action. Let's go to Wooly Snow and get a crown, I think. Uh, what does a crown really do? I mean, it kind of a lot. <laughs> it does a lot. Charm Merchant is the other option, though, of course. And Muncher. Muncher is probably more intriguing than Treasure. Honestly, maybe this is the way. I'm going to do it. I think uh, getting to my good stuff is good. Shouldn't there be three Scarby Stars? There is. They are just in weird spots. I don't really know what I'm looking for here. Oh, I'm looking for this. Oh, interesting. I didn't know I was looking for that, but I sure was. Sun Charm Blittleberry makes the most sense to me. Well, is there anything else I'm doing with my money? 45 for Shroom Charm, sure. Nothing else to spend it on. This can go on Mimic. I suppose. Get a little extra damage out there. Yeah, nothing crazy, but... It's better than nothing, I would say. Alright, let's face the Eye of the Storm. Of course I didn't look at what I was facing, either. This is pretty standard for me these days. I'm still not used to having to fight not the Frost Guardian, like, base fight. Ah, uh, this is kind of annoying. I might need to Snowcake BG. Oh, wow. Bonnie's going to cleanse BG, though. That's kind of crazy. Yeah, I just can't... I don't know really how to approach this, actually. Uh, maybe Woodhead has to block BG. I don't know. That seems right to me. I could Snowcake Bonnie, too. Nah, I don't think that makes sense. The other, I would like to Snowcake Fizzle, but she is getting cleansed by Bonnie next turn. You do this. So this attack hurts. Do this, this, this. Get two bomb, four ink on Littleberry. That kind of sucks. Kind of sucks a lot. I don't really know what my other options are, though. I don't really know what's going on. I guess I should bury Blade something so I can Snowcake next turn. I don't really know. Yeah, I don't really know. 
Yeah, maybe we'll just, uh... Maybe we'll just be fine. Somehow. Somewhere. Do I have something to block BG next turn? I also have this attacking next turn. And the Gobbler. Let's snow this. Yeah, this sucks that I can't skill this little berry right now. So... This is a pretty nasty set of things coming my way. Probably need this bomb to go in Harmon Station, unfortunately. I could cleanse off this bomb though, right, too. That's another thought. But anything that gets bombed this turn and then attacks subsequently will be dying, so that doesn't really work. I can cleanse off Little Berry's problems, though. It looks like the heal is going to happen first, though. Which would be a shame. So I guess I'll do this. Wow, just got four trash off that. That sucks. Five damage coming in from Tentacle. Guess we should do this. Should we should do this? Yeah, let's just do this. And then wallop. Oh, wallop sinks. I could cleanse it now. Yeah, and then Mimic can block BG next turn and not die. And the cleanse this turn is important so that this extra damage comes through on Fizzle. It seems useful, maybe. I don't know. Yeah, so something like this. There's a Burster, it seems, attacking. I don't like that. This Bushu. Mm, Bushu could attack Kuro and die here as well. Could let Mimic die again. That's probably fine. Ah, there's a lot going on. This game's mean to me sometimes. Should I move on? I don't know, I guess. A lot of cards there I could have used though. Ooh, here we go. We can we can cleanse. We can cleanse. Yeah, this works. Something like Heart Forge. Yeah, yeah. This will do. I have to be cautious of this next turn again though. Especially since BG's now doing damage. We have Grizzle applying three snow. Definitely messed up. We can cleanse. I guess we should cleanse next turn. I haven't really calculated if what I'm doing is, is actually safe. This. It's not exactly safe. We're gonna let these things die, I think I've decided. Get a bunch of trash, as is tradition. And then, what, snow? Kill this grizzle with wallop. Looks like there's this thing attacking me again. Everything seems to be mean. And rude. I'm not a big fan of it. We did not draw... Oof. Yeah, we did not draw what we needed to draw. We did not draw Berry Bell. We should probably go look for Berry Bell. I think Bushu needs to tank, if anything. I may have to snow this guy. Okay, we did draw Berry Basket. That's lucky. That's lucky, and I'm grateful. Do this. I don't know. It's a shame I I can't wait until after BG attacks to cleanse, but it is what it is. 
Uh, Bushu can attack first here. Okay. DG is almost down. Can do this. And then Frost Bloom, I suppose, on this guy. Looks like Burster's attacking again, which sucks. I hate that. Yeah, Little Berry's attacking, which is a problem. I think Bushu has to die again. Hmm, yeah, I don't know. It doesn't solve the problem, though. We could let a little berry go first. This, this works. This gives us a chance to go look for uh, our berry basket again. Although it's looking less likely, less and less likely. We might have to pull little berry out, which sounds really bad because he is doing a lot of our damage right now. Yeah, sorry, buddy. I don't really know how to approach all this. It all seems really mean. I guess I can keep slowing this guy down. Bushu has some time here. Do some extra damage with wall up as well, I suppose. This is turning into a slug fest. My god. Um, okay. Move on for the cleanse, which we have received now. Something like this. Six, so 12 damage. Wait, this is too much damage. Oh no, it's happening again. Six six one. Yeah, this sucks. I don't even know if I want to speed up Bushu here. Because she's gonna be Haze. Oh my word. This is just unbearable, this extra trash that I'm getting. Yeah, this sucks. The fact that I can't hit anything, do any damage, because Kuro can't, I don't know, do anything, sucks too. Oh wait, Fushu wants to attack, huh? I cannot have that happen. These guys are now misaligned, at least I guess I'll just move on. I need my cleanse. I can just take her out, actually. Yeah, this is fine. And then we can finish this guy off. Mm, we should do it next turn. Otherwise, the healing is wasted. Okay, I think we're fine. I think we're gonna be okay. This is a pretty important maneuver here. And then this is all okay. I think this is all fine. Uber Bear is being Uber Bear, as is tradition. Maybe I shouldn't have moved on because there's actually cards in the hand and there's probably a lot of junk coming up, but uh, not actually true. We have survived and seen some cool business. Okay. Uh, I would. Oh. This is scary. We could send you up and you down. And then pink berry juice. Or cleanse. Oh, the cleanse is actually pretty crucial here because I get the smack back. Seems good. So you keep in mind I don't survive the 
big hit from this guy. But I do survive if I do 12, have 12 health. I have just enough. And then what, Snow this guy, and then Scrappy sort of, and Littleberry has enough. Well, Littleberry has enough with Bushi's help already. Okay, we've technically survived, which is the only important type of survival. That's not true. There are ways to survive and not survive at the same time in different forms, but okay, we are moving on to the heart, and I don't know if we're going to win. I'm a little less convinced after these last couple fights, truth be told. But I think we're going to do Kuro, what, Littleberry? Oh, jeez. Wallop needs to be on one side, Kuro needs to be on one side. I think Bushu and Littleberry are alongside Kuro on the Jailer side of things. That is my current thought. Yeah, this sucks. Oh, this bomber has a sun charm on it. Yeah, it seems really bad. Snowcake probably needs to go on this guy if I find it. All up might just die after this bomber. That might just have to be fine. This healing is good, I suppose. Yeah. We might need a Frostbloom Lancer, though, before we move on so it doesn't one shot Little Berry. I don't really know. I don't really know how to win this. Maybe Frostbloom Lancer's right. But maybe getting healing is better. Heart Forge. Anything to cleanse coming up. The snow is cleansable. Um. This gives us spice. Bushu heals as well. Wallop. Nothing's been destroyed yet either, which is pretty nice. If Little Berry dies here, we probably lose though. We could also just lose if this guy gets hit. Oh, not quite. Not quite. 16 damage, we have 17 health. Yeah, I'm sure everything's fine. Oh, Muncher's, or Wallop's dying here too. I don't think it's going well. It's not going great. Wow, I need to learn how to win this game again. Feels like everything I used to do worked. Now nothing works. I need to do that. The only problem is that, of course, let's Junker almost kill my guy. Could do this. Yeah, this dude having a sun charm sucks. I guess Heartforge dies. We could get one last spice out of it, I suppose. This guy wants to attack again for a million, trillion, million, trillion damage. Which is no fun. 
it's looking rough. Let's see, this thing does die soon, but this next attack is is completely lethal. There's five guys attacking me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just gonna let it do its thing. Maybe I'll let it do this, just speed it up a little bit. Wow. This game's hard. What is going on? It's really, I just need to get back into the flow of things. I think it's just really hard to, for me to win right now. But I, I, I need to, you know, it's a new patch and there's lots of new um, changes. So just need to get back into the swing of things. But thank you so much for watching as always. I really appreciate it and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Until next time.